Would you like to learn about the five biggest weight loss mistakes that you are doing right now and how to avoid them? So if the answer is yes, welcome. This is a day five. So if you didn't watch the previous ones, go and get it. And this is about the mistake number five. And that is you are exercising way too much and maybe in way too high intensity for way too long. So many of my clients think, okay, Losing the weight is about eating less and exercising more. In fact, it's not. The success of weight loss is only 20% is the exercise and 80% is the right nutrition. The right nutrition, how you combine the meals and when you eat them, what you eat before the exercise, what you eat after the exercise. Every athlete knows that nutrition is key. But I see so many mistakes when um, ladies join the gym and they realize they're overweight, they want to lose the weight, so they go every single day. They do the spinning, they do the boot camp, they do all the other classes, cardio classes, they're lifting the weights, combination of everything. Then they feel exhausted and they are offered at the reception to have a protein drink. and. If you were listening yesterday, the mistake number four, it was about adding the protein, protein shakes and having smoothies and all of this being super size, super sizing you, okay? So mm, if you go to the gym and you exercise for 30, 40 minutes, you really don't need an extra shake. We have amino acid pool in our body and there is enough amino acids to, repair the broken muscle and you definitely don't need to have a banana before you exercise because do you know what you have enough of the fat energy stored on your body and you probably have enough glycogen which is a storage of a glucose sugar in your liver and in your muscles to do the 40 or 50 minutes exercise in the gym Okay, so that is the common mistake that um, my clients do. And of course, if you overtrain, you, you over exercise, you are creating stress. And the stress hormone cortisol is calling insulin. And we know from all the previous days that insulin is a fat maker because cortisol will increase the blood glucose levels it will think that it's in a danger that you quickly need the source of energy right so your bloodstream will already have enough glucose by eating the banana drinking the protein shake that also includes some sugar you make it even worse you are spiking this insulin and the insulin needs to remove the glucose and turn it into fat so actually you can even gain weight by doing this mistake okay when we talk about exercise talk to a professional on linkedin in the gym it's so many professionals that tell you that you need to take it easy what intensity to uh, to take i mean in the gym don't listen to them what they tell you about the nutrition because they are not certified nutritionists and they do not fully understand the biochemical processes uh, in your body. They know probably about micronutrients that you should have, but remember, you are unique, right? They don't know about your hormonal imbalances, so they can't help you in this way. Um, so do not overexercise. If you are overweight and you are just starting, going for a walk, rising the, the heartbeat is enough. And then maybe seven minutes of high intensity interval training per day would be sufficient, right? You do not want to spike insulin. You do not want to increase the hormone uh, ghrelin. If you would like to know more about the physiology and understand how your body works and why you should eat and what you should eat, I have 
online 21 day program. It's about sustainable weight loss because losing the weight is not actually difficult. 